What's up guys, I got a customer that took advantage of my $99 stay in your top. This is a really nice alder firebird body. I'm not sure where it came from. I usually make my own bodies, but this was sent to me. It is a two piece, three piece, two piece alder body. It's got a really great lefty shape. Love the pickup configuration from the telly. Uh, bridge and the mini humbucker up here. We're gonna do a Brock burst on a uh, non-figured body. Get a lot of requests to do that. That's why I decided to film this today. We'll do the same color pattern on the front as the back. We've got some clean rags and Angelus leather die. You can purchase these Angelus leather dies in the link below. You don't need the full bottles. You can buy the three ounce bottles and you can get a bunch of guitar bodies done with that. I buy the big bottles because obviously this is what I do. So we're gonna start with the dark brown and we're gonna feather the edge. And then we're gonna do that on the back as well. The one concern I have is the lip. I've actually never done a uh, stain like this on a lip. So we'll see how we do. And my stain, for some reason, is making a mess today. Dark brown. Get it all over the rag. What I'm assuming is going to happen is that the edge here, I'm going to have a little bit of an issue as I sand i'll probably have to do some hand sanding which is fine the trick with this is to not add black the wood is already so dark alder has a nice dark hue so you definitely do not need to add a black because you won't get that black out of this wood Getting this in the corners is going to be tricky. I will come back with a little red. I'm not going to do the full body in the dark brown, just want to have the darker edge. And red always, like I said, is, sticks pretty well. The red on this actually looks outstanding. The red and the brown combo look really good. I'm gonna have to clean this up couple spots that really weren't sanded well right there or right here so what I love about doing this is usually you get one good sort of base color see how it looks and you can come back and sand and that's what we'll be doing here The problem is on the sides, on this lip, I'm not getting in the crevice. And if I come back with a fully soaked rag, I'm gonna have an issue because it's just gonna soak in right here. So what I'm gonna do is actually leave this and come back with the yellow and get the yellow to blend it. Let's put these caps on before I make a mess. Here's the yellow. And that does it. That really pulls the color down into that crevice. I know this is messy, but I will be cleaning it up. I 
I do like the red and the brown. You can see how much red and brown are picked up in the yellow. Really get these colors to soak in and move around like so. Sanding mark up there. This actually looks pretty good. I don't like that look. I'll come back and fix that. Don't like this. Sometimes I'll add orange to this. I think I'm gonna do that today. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We will just do dark brown on the sides. We'll speed up for that. trick with doing this, before you put it on the back, put another towel down so you don't ruin your front. Especially the dark stain, as it absorbs from the side, it'll go on to your front. You don't want that Back, same thing, I'm gonna fast forward it, but we're just gonna use the brown, feather the edge, and do the red and the yellow. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of a hard line right there that I'll work on when I sand some of this out. I don't really think I need to do much sanding on the back. The front, a uh, little splotchy right here. Needs some sanding here, here, here. Gotta get these sanding lines out. That's bad. Um, probably a little bit more front, work on the front. Lots of sanding lines which I didn't see in the beginning and I looked before I did the video but I do like the way the back looks it just definitely needs a sand out and some yellow and we should be good so if I sand out here we'll be good and then the front that splotchiness makes me mad um, and this run right there I don't like so like I said let it dry 24 hours and we'll be back Alright, what's going on guys? Had to do a ton of sanding on this. The scratches were actually pretty bad and then there were sanding lines on the back and I got most of them out. Uh, I can't feel them anymore, but really um, probably should have sanded or at least rubbed some naphtha on before I went with the stain. Really had a mess and now that I got it cleaned up, I'm pretty happy because 
I can see the coloring is soaked into the side, so I won't have to worry about that. Now we can just go back and apply, uh, you know, kind of straight color. We should be done after this application. So we've got some brown. We're going to start with the brown on the edge again. We're trying to match this neck, and I think it needed a little bit more brown and yellow than red. So we're not gonna go so heavy with the red this time. Just enough to kind of bring it all together. Again, these are Angelus leather dies. You can purchase them in the link below. So this time when we apply this red, we're just gonna go right over the brown and we're not gonna pull it in. What we're gonna do is use the yellow to bring it all together. So last time I brought the red all the way in. We're not gonna do that this time. We're just gonna apply it on the outside here. The owner of the body has given me full creative control, which is nice to have. He said, match this neck. All right. So now the trick is to take the yellow, wash the yellow in with a new rag. We should be good. Because essentially what we're gonna do is take what we've got in the wood already and only bring these outside colors Sometimes this works, sometimes we have to do the steel wool trick. Let's see. And then we'll definitely have to go over these spots a little bit just to fade it a little bit more. You can see how much coloring gets brought up. So we'll stay. really nice is you can just kind of wash the colors on the side. A little bit too much red here. Let's see if we can take the yellow and wash it out. Turn the rag. That's not really doing it. So we'll have to hit that with the steel wool. So what I do here is I can take, I guess the older rag that's got a little bit more color, just kind of wash it in. We'll be careful with the steel wool and pull that out just slightly. But here I want it to stay dark on the sides so we're gonna match up the neck a little bit more. Now we kind of wash out that red. So I think we're gonna do just a little bit of red. We won't wash it as much, but just a titch. Just to keep it true to that Brock Burst color. And I'll show you a trick to not pull it all the way through.
So that keeps it true to the Brock Burst. What we'll do is we'll take a little bit of yellow and then wipe this off like so. And this really keeps that coloring true, but I still got the red. So the only thing I'm really not happy with is this red seam right here. We'll let it dry and then we'll come hit it with some steel wool in this area. We should be able to just get that yellow to pop a little bit more. It's a little bit too brownish. I'm just cleaning this up. But I do love the brown and the red. Do the same thing on the back. Uh, here's the final finished body. We did four coats of sanding sealer, two real light coats, and then two heavier coats. And then we put about five coats of true oil on this. Didn't film any of that process, uh, but that's standard process in, in terms of how I put the true oil on. I put three really heavy coats on, let that sit, I come back with really super fine sandpaper, like 600 and I sand out any of the sort of ridges or rough spots. And then I put two really thin coats on and let it dry. This body turned out beautiful. I have a whole video on my master trio class if you guys wanna see it. But just a, another beautiful stained guitar body with a true oil finish. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.